Miriam Cates is sort of the MP next door. Uh, I am not too far away from, of course, the boundary line between the, the Penniston and, and Stocksbridge constituency. So when I often get, you know, invites to sort of go out and sort of canvass by sort of local Labour parties, it's one of sort of the three areas or four areas I can sort of go into and sort of help canvass. And especially this area was one of the big wins for 2019. So Miriam Cates is the sort of first uh, Conservative MP for that particular area. And I can tell you now that the people of, of Penniston and, and Stocksbridge are not, shall we say, that really enthused um, about her to sort of begin with, after, shall we say, she took office. More specifically, for the past, after the pandemic. That's when she sort of more came to prominence, uh, especially because she has been joining more specifically with the new Conservatives. She was part of the National Conservative Conference, if you remember that. She's been very, very much preaching a lot of the bizarre conservative Christian fundamentalist values. Uh, she took part, if you may remember, in the, um, the Conservative Christian Conference, which took place as well that not too long ago. So, overwhelmingly, she has been uh, been at least pictured or framed as a rising conservative star in the in the world. And maybe, maybe one day she'll be a future leader. Oh, wouldn't it be sort of great and fantastic? But the reality is, Miriam Cates has been far, shall we say, shown any proper ministerial talent. Uh, she's not even been a minister. She's not even been a junior minister. Um, instead, she has flitted about these far-right conservative groups, and overall, a lot of people in her constituency have become, oh, I didn't I didn't even realise she was saying stuff like that when you talk to them. Um, trust me, her next election, shall we say, is far from certain. She had a majority of about 7,000 at the last election. Uh, of course, again, this is the 2019 swing. I don't think she's going to be able to maintain that going into the next election. Uh, ultimately, to one of the many people I would be at least thankful to get rid of from, uh, from shall we say, Parliament. But what's happened today is it has been revealed that she is now under investigation by the Parliamentary Standards Watchdog. And I have to say, why did it take so long? Because she is being specifically investigated for bringing the House into disrepute. And again, I have to say, what took so long? <laughs> We've covered a numerous times on this channel of Miriam Cates going out and saying the most well, ludicrous things. <laughs> and now, and now you decide, well, now is maybe the time, you know, we're going to look into her. But of course, you know, hope springs eternal that maybe this could be another potential casualty. Because in the new year, Rishi Sunak already potentially now facing two new by-elections. So, two other, shall we say, upcoming losses for Rishi Sunak. <laughs> and if this ends up being a another potential by-election, who's to say that Miriam Cates will actually even be able to survive it to the next potential general election? Whenever that may be. We hope it will be at least within the next six months. Fingers crossed it might be sooner than that. But again, very much fingers crossed. Um, but let's get into uh, this because this is this is sort of fascinating, and I think it's sort of gone. Why has it taken so long for for this to happen? As, especially um, as you've seen a lot of people sort of respond to this. So before we get do get more into this, please do remember to click on uh, the like, share, and subscribe button. And of course, down below there are links to my Patreon page, the one-off donation link called Buy Me Coffee, where you can all buy me coffee. And of course, as always, you can check out the Pony Club as well down below. And of course, there's a YouTube thank you button as well. So, as always, let's crack on uh, into this. This comes from Sky News covering this uh, when it broke. So, Tory MP Miriam Cates under investigation by Parliamentary Standards Watchdog. So, the Conservative MP Miriam Cates is being investigated by the Parliamentary Commissioner for Standards over claims that she has caused 
and I like this, significant damage to the reputation of the Commons and its members. So, this probe was confirmed on the Watchdog's website, although details of these allegations have yet to come to light. The co-chair, of course, that's what the other thing, uh, she's part of one of the five families. She's sort of one of the uh, founding bodies of the new conservatives. Um, is one of the five, a member of one of the five families and the right wing factions within the Tory party. And Miss Kate was recently in the headlines for a criticism of Rishi Sunak's Rwanda bill, claiming that it did not go far enough to disapply foreign human rights laws. But she has often captured the media's attention with a controversial views around family, claiming that the de declining birth rate in the UK was down to cultural Marxism. I'm sure we all remember that uh, thing, because uh, that was from her little um, speech she gave at the Conservative Christian Conference. And of course, increased uh, numbers of people going to university. She told the US uh, National Conservative Conference, again, what we're talking about, earlier this year, that the drop in people having children was one of the overarching threats to British conservatism and the whole Western society, and even greater than climate change or the threats from Russia and China. Cates is amongst at least eight MPs currently being investigated by the Standards Commissioner, uh, Daniel Greenberg. Others include Deputy Speaker Dame Eleanor uh, Lanning, Conservative uh, Beck uh, Conservative uh, Bernard Jenkin, and of course, Reclaim MP Andrew Brigden. Um, yeah, this is going to be interesting to see what it is. I mean, what exactly has she done? Damaged the reputation of the Commons and its members. That, that to me is quite interesting. Now, of course, we don't know what it is yet. We don't know the details. But, yeah, to say, oh, yeah, you've damaged the reputation of the commons. Is it because she went and did these uh, speeches? Is it because she said some of this stuff? We don't know. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But, oh, trust me, I, I await, I await with glee. I will wait with glee to see what information and exactly what Miriam Cates is being investigated for, for bringing the commons in to disrepute for, because this is one of the things that we said at the beginning of this video. What's taking you so long? <laughs> Literally, what has taken you so long to get here? Now, of course, it might not be those comments. It may be just something completely different, which hasn't yet been uh, reported. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens and, and how this goes. Make no mistake, I will be I will be watching this very, very closely indeed. Um, but until we get more information or like how she was sort of brought the commons into disrepute, we'll see. But like I say, it wouldn't be, as, as a lot of people have been saying, what took you so long? <laughs> so... Uh, until then, of course, as always, please do remember to click on the like, share, and subscribe button. And of course, as always, we'll see you all next time.